Hi there, I'm Glenn Gaylord, also known as Galo, and I am the director on Eating Out 3, and this is day one of shooting. Welcome everybody, thank you. Welcome to Eating Out 3. Uh, thank you so much for being a part of this. This is Zach. Hi everybody. Chris Salvatore, oh, making really? his okay. feature film debut. Yeah, day one, Eating Out 3, and he's gonna get all kinds of nasty today. I'm just really excited. This is my first feature, so. Let's rock it out. We're going to rehearse this uh, with Chris and Julia. I know we talked about following her this way with a handheld. It was pretty much like I'm dressing slutty bag hags and gay boys. It was pretty easy. <laughs> Moi l'amour, and it means make love to me in French. The first two movies were really about sexuality and, and seeing if you could, would go beyond your own sexuality in order to get with someone that you really wanted. Oh wow, yes, this is my third eating out movie. Um, I did, god, how many years has it been? I think it's been six or seven years since we did the first one. And this time, um, I wanted to do, I wanted to explore um, the internet and technology and texting and, and dating right now and how how all of that kind of informs what we're going through. Don't you know anything about the internet? You're supposed to make a fake profile. What? Pretend to be a total random stranger so you can find out all his personal details. People are honest with strangers. For this one we wanted to bring back the romance. Eating Out 2 was more about um, a couple that was apart coming back together eventually, and this one we wanted to see people fall in love again. I think one of the things that, that um, we discussed at the beginning, way back when the script first started to be written um, by Alan and Philip, is I was hoping that we would bring a little extra sweetness to this, to this um, particular episode, and I think we got it. So you're comfortable taking off your clothes? What? Oh, I just assumed you were volunteering to be one of the studs in the mail sale. Oh, uh, I'm I'm clearly not a, a, a stud. Are you? With Eating Out 3, I kind of found this to be similar to like a Gay 16 Candles, where uh, you have a very real, vulnerable main character going through this big turning point in their life. Uh, and yes, it's all sexy and funny and crazy, but it is dealing with a real issue and real emotions with this kid. There are those moments when you're looking into each other's eyes, wondering if maybe he's thinking the same thing. We are in a park at the AFI, the American Film Institute. I feel like, like three geez. little things here, and you're like, open up, Whoa, bitch. you're so pale, I just... It's the key romantic moment in the movie where our two love birds uh, have a hint of romance and it sticks with them for the rest of the movie. It's going really well. We're filming the park scene. Yeah, where he falls on his face. Yeah. And I laugh at him. Okay, we're cut there. We'll do another. Cut? We're cut. Love that. We got it. Just a little ouchie. She's teaching me how to ride the scooter because I've never ridden one before. <laughs> Yesterday was just very intense with um, penis and sex scenes all day long. Sex scenes uh, filmed about 84 times from 34 different angles. When there's so many people crammed into a room, you know, watching you have this intimate moment, it's kind of anything but intimate. Oh. You get dressed, get de-sweated, we'll be ready to go ahead. Yeah, yeah. But it's fun, like, um, Chris and I were kind of just cracking up every break we got, basically. What about those like this? <laughs> That'll be so funny, let's do it. He has a tank top in his head. I swallowed a gallon of Michael's sweat yesterday, licking up and down his chest. I think fake sex is stupid. <laughs> It's harder than real sex, for sure. I don't... I was kind of reserved a little bit, you know, before I even went to the audition. But it's like, hello, we all do it, you know, on the weekends or every day or whatever. Whenever you get the chance, I guess. But, um, so yeah, it's a, it's a big challenge for me, but it's great to have this be my starting off point. Yeah, his dick wasn't inside of me, but I don't know, was it, was it good for you? Oh. Yes, fuck me like a day laborer. 
It was pretty good. Have you ever been with a woman before? Of course. Oh. <laughs> you did try everything in life. There you go. Yeah, I guess. No, I don't You don't miss anything. <laughs> you don't miss anything. That's hilarious.